Right. This is going to take me a bit of time. Up to you. Get back in the boat. Get back in the boat. Because I need to... Get to the other side. The diametric opposite. There. I might be able to, I might be able to fight a shortcut for the middle. I don't know. By the way... Layers. We can add obstacles. In there as well. Like the poles that are there. And we can know where the jellies are. As well. That might be useful later. But thankfully time is paused while we're doing that. So let's try and fight our way. Jellies, get the sod out of the way. You stupid creature. Yeah, we can fight the wind and sort of cut across into the inner channel here. The inner... And take a shortcut. If this goddamn jelly would get off the front of my boat. I'm gonna get out there and just hoof him off. Give him a good kick. He's just slowing everything down. There we go. Gotcha. But you know, learning an easy sluggish boat like this. And then the zippier ones will be uh new experience. Wow, just hit 30 knots there. This is I caught into the inner ring of wind there. Really slingshot my way out. Oh, I did it all wrong. I found a... Trying to catch across, cut across the wind. I don't like doing this, but I think I'm going to have to run for it. Are you going to let me do it, game? I don't know if you can. It feels like cheating. You're gonna let me do it. Okay. I feel bad about that, but I got I don't want to go around again to try and get it. Okay. The thief sale. So we now have Ziggy. We're not gonna build Ziggy yet because what we need to do. Oh, that's the marker, I was about to say. What's that green light? We'll get the chime. Now suddenly the winds have changed. <coughs> this is to help us get back, I think is the answer here, really. Wind disc unlocked. So, a wind disc describes the pattern of the wind for the whole map. You as you collect chimes, the tower will change the patterns of the wind and it will grant you new wind discs. You can use a wind disc by visiting the tower and ask it to change the wind, the pattern, any disc that you possess. This is a good way to get back, I guess. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is just build Ziggy. A pre made blueprint. Uh, how do I do this again? There we go. Blueprints. There's our first boat. Here it is. So we can still change it if we want to. Essentially we've got the big yellow barrel at the front. There's the keel and the uh, the rudder there. Is that? That's just a keel, isn't it? I was about to say. It's not, a, it's not part of the rudder. That's part of the keel. That makes sense to keep flipping over. And there's a little triangular sail. And just a few bows. It's quite fragile, but it will do for now. And we're just going to use it as, as it is for now. At the moment, it's pretty easy. We're trying to head this way, and the wind's just going to carry us in. Whoa, I hate that. Right, okay. So we've still got a rudder, but you can see now we're tied directly to the sail. And the sail doesn't work quite the same way anymore. So before I was using W and S to drop and adjust the sheet, 
And you do a little bit, but it's it's, when, it's how aligned you are to the to the wind. So one second. So mostly I would not be catching much wind right now because it's it's flat on. Like that, see, flat on. And I can turn it a little bit to one side. Are you going to turn the sail for me? There we go. So I'm now catching the wind a little bit. But also, in steering the boat, you are also going to be adjusting the sail to some degree. Now, it all sounds a bit awkward and cumbersome. But you find that what you can do is that you can, you can zigzag with the wind. You tack from side to side. And that allows you to get to places that you wouldn't be able to do with the, uh, with the big sail. I found it can be very fast if it's... Uh, if you're going with the wind. But it's more about manoeuvrability. It's not really the easiest thing to use, but it's generally... I found it to be okay. And this was, that was the last thing I was using before I stopped playing the game and started doing a recording for you guys. Anyway, let's get us back into shore and we can discover where the other chimes are and go and collect some more bits. And change the wind, because this wind will not do. We cannot be. We will not be getting anywhere with this wind. When the uh, when the uh, what do you call it? The, the next chimes show up. Okay, chimes. And we have pushed back the storm. Tower has changed the wind, so we now have an easterly and a westerly leading straight up from the tower, and we have the continue. We have back to the rotation again as well. So we might be able to ride the westerly easterly. We might be able to ride out to here, possibly. What I'm thinking is like here and then around, but I want to get that blueprint first. Yeah, I want to get that blueprint first. Because I want to know where the other pieces are so I can search them as I go. So it is it's that way. So where's the boat spawn point? I think we've only got one, haven't we? Get Ziggy back out again then, and we'll see what we can do. And again, I'd love to I'd love to play around with the boat. If I know more about boat physics, I probably would. Currently, what I'm thinking of is that if I add there's no point adding more hull unless I have a, need to have a stronger ship for a particular reason. Okay? There's no good reason for having flotation new flotation devices. Red is more to many times used as a colour to signify when it is of more significance. It was just used to upsell grains. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, there's no point putting more floats on there because floating is not an issue with us at the moment, you know? We, we, we're we floating just fine. I can't see a way of improving the ship at the moment. I'm sure there's lots of ways of improving the ship, but I don't know what they are. At the wind, am I immediately going to have problems with this? Come on, catch the wind. Am I in the right wind? That's what I'm after. There we go. Right, and then we're going to hook around. I'm just faffing around with the sail here. I would say I'm supposed to, I'm in the right wind channel. And the wind is heading out east, and that's where I want to go. But as usual, my ignorance is, is giving, me, giving me problems. Okay, I think I've got you finally. 
because I haven't got a square sail, I'm tacking with the wind, if you see what I mean. I'm flipping from side to side, so it's pushing directly from behind me. What I want to do is get a bit further out so I can catch that circular wind coming round. But I'm struggling. This is where I'd like to have a more complicated ship later that maybe has um, different sorts of sails, so I can use them collectively to uh, to deal with different situations. Okay, we're here. Two blueprints. Wow. We have Zaggy. Logs bar on a sail and you in the middle. Only seven more pieces. Which gets you the square base. Which you build on all sides. I guess a bigger boat. What you can do there. Got a bigger boat is a good thing. Gimme gimme. Gibbly bobbly boop. Okay, where we're going anyway. And I presume you're going to tell us similar things. Little windless. With two jets and an energy vacuum you can sail anywhere. Unless there's no energy source nearby. Range is pretty limited without an energy tank. Just stay near jellyfish. Yeah, so jellyfish can be used pulled energy from jellyfish. Haven't done much with that. Jets and propellers and tethers. Tethers, huh? Making me think a little bit um, raft. Maybe you're grappling things or maybe just towing things. Maybe tethering yourself onto something. I don't know. By the way, the pink section on my, around my map there is energy, I think. So, where do we heck do we go first? Well, the wind's going to want to push, push us here. Yeah? We're just going to do a grand tour, I think is the answer. Come back, boat. I saw you leaving. So, which way are we facing? That way. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm not a healthy sailor. Not healthy at all. Give me some of my rum ration, that's what I want. Are we stuck? Are we stuck here, boat? Have we really got no not getting caught by the wind at all? Okay. We're good. Well are we good? Can be better. We need to head out. the wind, which I should better do in this ship. I get the angle one, right, which I probably won't. Okay, I think we now have a permanent passenger. <laughs> Just lean over and kick him, for goodness sake. Obnoxious. Watch out for that reef type area there. Which we can easily slam into and smash our ship. But as soon as we get towards this channel of wind coming around here, we should be at a hard right. And dodge those. You wait, Jennies. I'll be absorbing your energies later, I tell you. But how do we do that? Just bump into them? Capture them in like a hook shape at the front of your ship? Like some sort of James Bond villain? Scooping them up? Don't know. Just me near the Jennies, maybe. Sucks the energy out of them. Getting pretty scary over towards that uh, west there. So uh, the place I got to last time, I unlocked all of this lot, and I tried out the boat with thrusters on it, and got no very nowhere very far. Oops! I think I was too close to the edge of the storm, and the ship was not really doing very well in the in the choppy weather. So I'll have to try it again sometime. First of all, let's cut these bits. Tree logs! Fabulous. A 
rib, like a metal rib of some sort. We've got a chime. There's no point going back until we've got all the chimes. Do that later. Let's head off to the next one. What's this thing? A broken piece from a ship's hull. Again, how is all this useful? I don't think it really is, is it? Most of it. Any of it any good to us? A bit more lift, maybe? Might be good. Do you reckon that'll help? Could it do any harm? I mean... Oof, here we go. Right. Hold on. Symmetry. Can I have another one, please? Please, sir, may I have another? There we go. Perfect. That's going to help, isn't it? Don't. What, I don't know. I don't get this angle, by the way. This does it every time. It whips you in, and it faces you backwards, which is usually not what I want the first time. I'm uh, sailing my ship because uh, I want to know where I'm going, and it can get quite hairy up this far out. What about a slight problem in the? We have to watch out for these crosswinds that are coming straight out. And they do come out heading west and then immediately start to curve off into the circle, into the into the circular path of the wind, but they can be tricky to follow through. So one of these great big slabs here. I mean these things are big sharp pointy bits that have been there's rocks to get out to see, but these are shaped objects. I mean, I guess they could be geological, because, you know, it's nice you get geometry in geology. You know, depends on crystal structures and the like. But, uh, they look a bit more man-made to me. The remains of old civilization, maybe. It's pretty much what we've got here. No one's making anything, are they? It's just, dr we're just using driftwood to build ships. Hello, fishy boy. Get it up there. It's like a terrifying sea carnivore. Floaty carnivore. Tentacles are going to fall out from there and eat anything below. That's what's going to happen. That's what I'm predicting. Why have I stopped? Come on. Catch the wind. I guess that I'm, my, my, currently my sail is side onto the wind. There we go. with the wind and therefore it's not going anywhere. Come on, catch it! I don't get why you're pushing me that way, really. That's it. That's what I'm expecting, really. But it's not because it's wrong, it's because I'm coming in the wind. That's why, that's why it's doing it's doing what, not what I'm expecting. It's no fault of the game, I'm sure. I'm sure the physics are impeccable. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Right, here we go. We're, on, we're off again. At some point, I might learn. But you know, I've got a very, uh, as you are well aware of many games, I have a very shallow learning curve. Very smooth, very smooth learning curve. <laughs> so, I'll get there eventually. Thankfully the game is very forgiving. Whee! And over here we have... Oh, I went to a little building. It's very cool. Hmm. Ruins of something. Where are... Oh! Why is that one spraying into the wind? I guess it's a flame, isn't it? It's a blue torch, like with the sparks. Well, I wouldn't mind one of those. Do you want to put one of those on my ship without everything bursting into flame? Where's, um... I don't know if it does burst into flame. I mean, as long as it's for amusing purposes. Let's shove that on the front, shall we? It is... A blue torch. Can I stick that right in front? Wow, bigger than I expected. Um... Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Perfect. Let's go. It's going to blow right into my face. <laughs> I think I'm possibly facing the wrong direction as well. Now yeah, we're all right. The wind's behind me. Why am I going this way? I don't get it. I don't get it, game. Anyway, keep going in the big circle. There's more blue smoke. And then wafting past. Maybe it's scented. There's cedarwood, maybe. Very nice. Very refreshing. Men menthol. Menthol will be right, right now. Me right now. Something, something decongests me. 